A call on this National Heroes Day for the government to move ahead and implement the National Heroes Awards Recognition Program. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. While addressing the National Heroes Day Recognition Services at the Church of God of Prophecy for Outstanding Leaders in that church denomination, Chairman of the National Heroes Day Committee, Canon Sebastian Campbell, petitioned government leaders to move the process forward left by the previous administration. Clint Watson reports. The National Heroes Day holiday has been established to honor and remember the legacy of leaders, movers, and shakers of the Bahamas past and present that have worked tirelessly to help advance our country. And while after much lobbying by the National Heroes Committee, we now officially recognize this holiday, Chairman Canon Sebastian Campbell says government must now put in place what was started by the previous administration to fully implement recognition of national heroes. To appoint the advisory committee for national honors. The law is already in place. Only the committee needs to be appointed that in future years, we might be able to celebrate and honor our heroes at the national level and declare nationally our national heroes. In addition to the holiday and honors, there's also a commitment from the previous administration for a dedicated space. I call upon the government to complete work started on the National Heroes Park at Botanical Gardens, area of land, four acres of land set aside to build statues and monuments to our people in our Bahamas. I call upon our educators, teachers, the Ministry of Education to join us in establishing October as National History Month. Canon Campbell says we need more Bahamians to step forward and record history. Because the time will come when it all will be lost. And we will believe that it's only today that is here that we celebrate. And somehow the Bahamas has always been what it is today. We have a vacancy and we need writers of our history that the story might always be told. National Overseer of the Church of God of Prophecy, Bishop Franklin Ferguson, saluted the heroes of his church and the families of those honored posthumously. Historically, as a people, we do not have the best record when it comes to preserving historical moments or celebrating the people who make them possible. It is my hope that today's celebration will be the beginning of the end of such neglect and the start of a long series of celebrating those persons who over the years served so faithfully. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.